If we go back to 2011, that was your first Masters. Uh, Tuesday, you'd have a, had a couple practice rounds under your belt. Were you in awe of the course at this point? How are you feeling? I think still to this point, you're, you're still in awe of it. Uh, anytime you get to drive down Magnolia Lane and come play Augusta, uh, it's a special experience um, in the tournament, especially. Uh, but my first time here at Augusta, getting to play the, the tournament for the first time, um, it's special. I mean, definitely a week that I'll never forget, and hopefully it's not something, or not a week that I, I'm going to miss anytime soon. Now, you got short hair right now. If we're going back to 2011, Ricky Fowler's coming up, this young kid. You got the long hair, the flat brim hats, the Cali swag going. How did the rest of the tour accept or embrace that? Um... I don't know if they had any choice. Um, mm -hmm. No, it's you know that was that's just who I am. I mean, mm. hopefully I still got some of the Cali swag. <laughs> you still got Maybe. it. You I still hope. got it. Um, but yeah, you know I had the long hair. That was just you know I had that for a while. Um, coming from a, a motocross background, growing up in action sports, um, not the I guess what you would say like a typical golfer. Um, but I definitely wanted to still fit in with the guys. I, I didn't you know, I wanted to be liked and well liked by the other players so um, I wasn't trying to rub anyone the wrong way but I didn't want to just try and fit in. I wanted to be myself and, and be different. So if people felt like you were rebellious would that have been wrong of them to think? Yeah no I wasn't I, was, I definitely wasn't trying to rebel um, that was that's just me being me I just wanted to continue to be myself you know have a little bit of the, the action sports background mm -hmm. continue with me I mean, I'd love to, to still be able to ride um, as you much don't. as I used to. Uh, I would, I can't say I don't ride. Um, I still, I'll hop on and just go trail ride in the hills, but that's, you know, I'd, I'd much rather be in the air. You report to yourself. You don't have to worry about a general manager or anyone being frustrated with uh, you riding or anything like that. No, that's true. Uh, there's nothing, there's nothing exactly in my contracts that say I can't ride, but um, I gotta stay healthy. Um, there's there's a little risk involved when in, uh, when riding. And the Ryder Cup picture, people talk so much about. Everyone's with their wives, girlfriends. Yeah. You have the face. Did you know you were gonna become a meme in that moment? No, I didn't know that that was gonna blow up and, and do what it did and has done. Um, you know, one of the the photographers that was um, taking pictures for the team and putting the booklet together for for us down. You know a few weeks later, but uh, so they said, hey, everyone kiss their wives or significant others. And, you know, <laughs> I, there was no one there, so I just had to give a little shrug. Uh, you're here working with Mercedes tonight uh, yep. at an event. Uh, what do they mean to you? You know, Mercedes has been a great partner. Um, the, con the relationship continues to grow. Um, for me, I mean, it's, it's from being involved in giving back with them. I've done some charity events with them to just the viral content that we get to create, have fun. Um, you know, whether it's shooting with cars, I've gone to, done a little bit at their driving school. They're an iconic brand, um, a great company to, to work with and be associated with. So um, it's, it's hopefully the, the start of something amazing. I look forward to the partnership continuing to grow and I'm lucky enough to you know, get a few cars uh, kind of nice. on rotation that they come to the house and get to drive those for a bit and then switch out for, for a new ones, so pretty privileged. Ricky Fowler, good luck this week at the Masters here on the Post Game.